All right, three, two, one, one, two, three. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. This is gonna be a video uh, unlike anything I've done before. And honestly, I don't know if I've low-key put this off for a little while. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I have. It's been about two months since this video was promised. Uh, basically, at the first week of every month, I make a Patreon exclusive video. And these videos are unedited mostly. They're way less formal and they're much more of an exploration into like what makes me tick, my schedule for the next couple of months. It's more like a podcast really, except uh, a podcast has high quality audio. This is not going to. Um, there's wind blowing, I'm by a lake. I thought I'd just do it nicely. You know, I was thinking about doing it in the house but I do a lot of my videos in the house and I wanted to get outside. I've just biked down uh, through Minnesota about seven miles to this nice lake. Um, just uh, thought I'd sit here and pitch my thoughts. And yeah, basically this video kind of thing comes out at the first week of every month on Patreon exclusively, but I thought I'd put the first one out on YouTube so you guys could get a feel of what these kind of videos are. And hopefully, to be honest, if I get settled into the format, because I've not done something like this before, I'm gonna do it more often, maybe like weekly or bi-weekly, honestly, just whenever I end up uh, having time to. I'm saying, see, these kind of wins are gonna be ridiculous for this video. I say like the first week of every month, that's just because I can, uh, I can compartmentalize that, right? I can like aim to do it once a month and uh, not let people down because um, really, and I, I, I'm gonna sound like a Will Smith apology video here. What my, one of my core foundations is not letting people down. Uh, I, I feel uh, a deep, deep responsibility to this community. I think a lot more than people realize. I find a deep responsibility towards protecting the brand, uh, Halo and Mega Constructs, like I, you know, you've got to go through life and this is like, you know, when people move between hobbies, that's fine, but you have to have some hobbies that you keep consistent throughout your life. So you just, you know, you, you have a deep love for the law and for the community and you can respect the history of it. Um, so, and I want to point out, these videos are just going to be pure rambling, right? Pure rambling, because that's kind of what I want from this kind of content. Uh, also, any questions, and I mean any questions that are asked on the blog post when I post these on Patreon, any questions asked on there, and I mean all of them, I will answer in these videos. So if you're a Patreon, you can also ask me exclusive questions and get uh, what I would hope is more, much more than a detailed response. Like I wanna just be so 100% transparent with these videos, right? That's partially why I want to commit to them being unedited as well. I want to stick by everything I say in these videos. I don't want to cut anything out whatsoever. Uh, so basically, I'm going to talk today until my leg falls asleep because I'm <laughs> leaning on a branch uh, and it's not, it's not ideal. Um, so I think these videos, and I'm going to figure out the format as I go along, I hope you just sit there with a, with a nice cup of tea or maybe a cold beer at night. Maybe you just Maybe you just have it in your ears while you're on a subway ride, you know, just whatever, however you consume podcasts <laughs> is uh, how I think you should probably consume this because it is just long form rambling. But I hope, you know, if you like me uh, and if you like the domain, then you'll like this kind of, uh, this kind of sneak peek into my life, like uh, take, pu pulling open the curtains on, on, uh, on this, this weird and wacky life I lead. So uh, I think I'll start most of these with uh, what's been going on in my life the last month. Uh, today is the one month anniversary of me being back in America, which is so completely absurd. Like honestly, mind blowing to me that I've been back for a month. It's, it, it's, it's like both, I feel like I've not been here for any time at all because I've been so busy. And at the same time, I feel like I've been here for months and months and months because I've done so much. It's a, it's a weird contrast. and. Usually I can, uh, cause like my, my, my life has been so honestly, just so absolutely crazy for the last six years. Um, I moved to China almost six years ago. Uh, it'll be six months. It'll be six years next month, I believe. And since then it's just been uh, I, I, kind of indescribable. I would like to try and break down in the future quite, quite what it's been like, but it's really hard to put it into words. I always struggle. Uh, but it has been, it's been a wild six years. And uh, I did six months traveling in America last November. 
Uh, for full disclosure, I arrived in America with Peggy, who I, you've seen in lots of videos. Uh, we broke up a couple of months after that, and I moved in with my good buddy Kellen, who you've seen in like every video. <laughs> and um, I've, uh, yeah, been living with him, or sort of living and traveling around America. I am a tourist, but um, six months in America, then three months back home for my brother's wedding and a few other family plans, uh, and some great dioramas, and then back to Minnesota. Also, I really do apologize if the audio is bad with this wind. I know the audio is also bad when I turn my heads because I, I got my AirPods in, but um, I'm trying to, you know, uh, there's a lot I can't afford right now, and one of them is a high quality iPhone microphone. I have an iPhone microphone, but it's, uh, it's not good outdoors, so uh, yeah. Uh, Peggy actually always used to just mock me about how many microphones I had and the fact that I still needed more. Microphones are like, you legitimately need so many. I have like a podcast microphone, I have a camera microphone, I have one for my iPhone, then I have lapel mics that don't work very well. You, you need a lot, uh, you need a lot. So, uh, the last month I've been back in Minnesota and uh, I've been working very hard on YouTube. We've had a very, very healthy week, gained about 400 subs, uh, upped our ad revenue, upped our viewership, like another like 40,000 views or something, uh, all revolved around the, um, reveal of the new articulation flood and that reveal pretty much cemented my relationship with mega which i'm very thankful for uh you know mega interested me in revealing a few things in the past uh victor the grunt was one of my first ones i revealed uh the high definition images of halo universe series one blind bags halo infinite series three blind bags halo infinite series four blind bags and then the collectible forward into dawn was my first big reveal uh and then this was by far my biggest and honestly, uh, you know, it's one of those things with the, with the MCX community and many, many different collecting communities. They, they go up and down, you know, in terms of interest. Mainly it's revolved around, uh, there'll be big spikes in interest uh, around Christmas. That's the most, uh, the most views I'll ever get is around Christmas time when, when people are looking to buy toys and advertising budgets are way up. Um, and then around new reveals there'll be spikes in views around new releases there'll be spikes in views when all these new kids are getting into the hobby they you know targets just refresh their stock and all these kids are buying it uh so there's big ups and downs um what i really want from the community uh and what i'm talking to mega about a lot is trying to get a consistent viewership um and a consistency with 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 uh with the engagement with the community around mega and i think um, we've got a lot of really great ideas to do that. We ran our versus diorama contest. The prizes were supplied by Mega. That was awesome last month. Um, or was it, gosh, was it June? Uh, was it June? It was June. Oh man. See, that's what I'm saying. Uh, time flies and also time. I mean, time is just a concept of human perception. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, the last week, uh, great, uh, partnership with Mega and really great interaction with the community. I especially cemented my relationship with the Instagram community, which I really appreciate, because uh, I haven't been um, really as up to date with those uh, guys. I don't post on Instagram much. I, I don't like Instagram for a lot of reasons. I mean, co co contrary to popular belief, I don't like social media, uh, and I don't think you should be on social media. I like to try and preach in my videos, and I should be preaching it a lot more that uh, you should just go outside, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, uh, I don't mean that condescendingly in any way, shape or form. Um, I love that uh, I have a community here and what I wanna do with my community um, going forward is advise you to all enjoy my co like community and enjoy my content um, and then uh, det det detach from it. You're like, I'd rather you didn't view my content if you were going outside, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, Basically, uh, this video is the only one I'm releasing on YouTube. The rest will be on Patreon. Apologies for the wind. That is that is really it was a, like there was a big thunderstorm last night. Honestly, I guess I should just like ramble about stuff that's not important when the wind gets heavy. Because again, I don't want to edit this. I'm quite determined that I'm not going to edit this whatsoever, even if some of the audio is terrible. We'll see. Maybe some of the audio is so shockingly bad I have to edit it. I don't know. Um, I promise for the next one I do. I will buy a microphone. So, uh, yeah, this one is going on YouTube and Patreon. The future ones will just be on Patreon. Um, I don't want to plug my Patreon too much because you do you, honey boo. Like, times are tight right now. I don't want to be asking for money. I never want to beg from people. And you need to look after your own finances. 
Um, if you are Mr. Daddy Big Bucks and you're sitting there and you're like, you know what, I really enjoy your content, head over to my Patreon, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe support me. Um, the next six months for me, till the end of the year, uh, are going to be very vital for my future. I've done full time on YouTube now for about nine months. Um, honestly, it's been it's been phenomenal for my mental health. It's been phenomenal for my motivation. It's been phenomenal for my engagement with new friends. Um, and I've gained a lot of skills. My main skill now is I can edit like frighteningly fast. If you remember at the beginning of this year, I did 125 days of uploading straight every single day. And uh, I also mentioned, and again, these videos are meant to be just fully transparent. I mentioned uh, that I broke up with Peggy at the start of this year in, uh, in January. And um, I then was left with this choice where I was like, okay, I'm feeling really sad right now. If I don't upload today, I'm gonna feel even sadder. Even though uploading and editing is, is brutal right now because my head is not in the right space, I still just gotta push forward. And I did every single day. And the more days I uploaded, the more motivated I got, the more I was like, I can't let myself down today. I gotta upload. And it was great. It was really great for my, for my health. It, honestly, it was really great. 125 days straight. And now my editing is like shockingly good. And I, I just wanna, you know, I always think you should um, motivate yourself as much as possible. Like look in the mirror and be like, you rocked it today, yeah? Um, like you, you absolutely, uh, even just one small thing, you crushed it today. Um, so my, my, my editing is, is becoming like lightning fast. My flood reveal, my, uh, my flood firefight diorama was the most ridiculous. That was like 30 minutes of footage and I edited it bet between breweries in the north near the Canadian border. We, we went up there camping for three days. Between breweries, I edited that video and then uploaded it pretty tipsy um, and it was great. Like, uh, no, that was, that was a big show um, of how, um, well, how much my editing has come along. Also, I think there's like some kids on a kayak or something. Maybe you'll be able to see them in the footage. They're screaming a lot. This wind is not, edit, it's not record worthy. Um, oh, God, oh, look at that. I, I've been recording for one, two, three, four, 12 minutes and 34 seconds. If you ever check your phone randomly in the day and it says one, two, three, four, it's gonna be a good day. That means luck is on your side. Whatever you're doing that day, do it harder. Anyway, um, anyway, so, the, uh, yeah, so I've, I've got really good at editing. That's been awesome. Um, so I've been really grateful of the nine months that I've been full-time on YouTube. But now we are at the point where uh, big decisions have to be made. I'm moving back to England full-time at the end of the year. I gotta, I gotta rent, I gotta pay bills, uh, and I gotta support my family. I, like, I gotta be, I gotta be, I gotta be on my top game. So, um, I, I need to decide by the end of this year if YouTube is financially viable for my future, which is a difficult one because I would like to say so, but the YouTube stats do not show it. I always like that funny compare. That there's a funny comparison with YouTube. Could you imagine with any other job that's not YouTube, you started a job eight years ago and progressively year by year, the pay decreases, but the company is making exponentially more money. Like, back in the day, YouTube used to show one ad per video. Why is it now that YouTube shows two unskippable ads, a mid-reel and a post-reel, and you get paid less per view? What? <laughs> so, uh, no, YouTube pays trash. <laughs> the camera gods decided, no, you will not do this in one take, as I ran out of storage space. And oh boy, let me tell you about storage space. <laughs> no, I have, um... God, I have about... Um, so I have I have five hard drives and two iCloud accounts, no Google Drive accounts, totaling about like maybe eight to ten terabytes worth of uh, storage, and almost all of it's maxed out because I like to keep two copies of everything I've not edited, and I have about seventy domain videos unreleased, unedited, and about two hundred travel videos over the past six years. I have terabytes worth of drone footage, terabytes worth. Uh, what was I saying? So, by the end of the year, I gotta decide whether YouTube is financially viable. I think, judging by my life, and judging by how much I believe in myself, um, I'm barely even gonna care if it's financially viable by the end of the year. I'm just gonna push forward and just 
beg, borrow, and steal until I make it. Like, I'm so driven right now, and I'm so sure of myself um, that I don't believe I'm going to be at a point where I ever fold this and I get a full-time job. I don't think so. Also, wind. You're killing my vibe. You're killing my vibe. I'm doing a motivational speech, and you probably just muffled the entire audio. Anyway, by the end of the year, I will have to make some decisions on, on what is financially viable and what I, whether, I, whether I have to even get part-time or full-time work um, externally or even be freelance. Um, Got to make a lot of decisions, you know. Right now, um, I, I, have, I have so much belief in myself that uh, the domain and two other YouTube channels that I'm launching this year will be uh, pillars of my success as well as a travel channel that I, ha I already have called Wandering Motion, link in the description as always. Uh, Wandering Motion is my travel channel. Uh, currently, it's, it, it has been stagnating a bit, but I've started uploading more to it, and I would really appreciate a sub to that. Um, and it's, it's I, I mean, I love travel videos. I really, I really do, and I've been to some exceptional places. So if you could sub to that, I would appreciate it. That is gonna eventually become my like influencer brand account that I can do paid sponsorships with and travel with and go on free excursions and get free travel gear. That kind of, those kind of perks in life. Um, the domain will always be uh, my, my core foundation, my core hobby, my core love. Um, and I will always keep up with two or uh, three or four videos a week. Um, and, I, and I will always have a deep love for that and I will always protect this community for as long as it exists. Um, I take my responsibility as being a community leader very, very seriously on the Mega Constructs domain, Facebook and Discord, on my Twitter and Instagram as being a good role model, on my videos that uh, impressionable kids are watching. I take it very seriously, um, uh, the, the kind of content that young people are consuming massively impacts the person they'll be in the future, so I hope that I can be the kind of person that will impact positive growth in them in the future. That brings me on to my other two channels, uh, Daily Halo, which was my uh, Halo Infinite Clips channel, which I, I wanted to do, and uh, I, I, I enjoyed the grind of doing daily uh, YouTube uh, Halo clips, and I, I got a, a lot of good ones from my friends like en Entho and Chunky Chief and uh, so many others. Um, but uh, that also, uh, I just didn't enjoy doing daily uploads uh, of just, of just re-uploading clips. I think the Halo community uh, is a little bit cursed with short form, just clickbaity garbage. Uh, I don't want to say garbage because everyone's just on their grind. Everyone's doing. I mean, all the all the quality is high, is high, but a lot of it is just clickbait, and uh, I really don't like that. I never want to mislead people with any of my titles or thumbnails. Um, so, Daily Halo uh, has about 1,200 subscribers, and that is about to be transformed into Halo Hot Takes, which I've been talking about for a long time. It's going to be comedic videos of me in front of a green screen talking about controversial topics in Halo, but mostly being a positive voice for the Halo community. And that's what my Patreon says, I'm a positive voice for the Halo community. The Halo community is in dire need of someone to stand up and say, I'm sick of this BS, I'm sick of this negativity. Nobody at 343 wants a broken game or a lackluster content uh, dry game. I just don't buy any of it, man. I don't buy any of this hate. I don't buy any of this criticism towards 343, really. Um, and I wanna try and step up and be a good voice for that. Um, and that is why I have decided to do a ridiculous purchase. Well, I, I didn't buy it. It was a Christmas present for my parents. Thank you, parents. Uh, to go to the Halo Championship final, the World Series final uh, in Seattle later this year. So I'm gonna be there, I got a VIP ticket. I'm gonna be interviewing as many Halo YouTubers as possible, taking a lot of Mega and basically plugging Mega to a broader Halo audience. And windy. See, that's the winds of change, man. They know that I'm going to HCS. I'm gonna take over the Halo scene. Legitimately, that's, that's, that, that, that is the plan. So, go to HCS, make a crazy amount of videos, interview every member of 343 I can, every uh, main Halo YouTuber, network like crazy. I'm going with Halo Collectors Kevin Hurd, 
and I openly invite anyone to buy a ticket to HCS Worlds and we can hang out, anyone. I would love, like anybody in this community that goes to HCS Worlds, I will interview you, scouts promise, and uh, I'll put you in a video talking about Halo. So I'm gonna HCS Worlds and uh, Daily Halo is about to become Halo Hot Takes. It's gonna be an exciting project. We're just gonna see if it can get any grounding, um, if anyone even cares. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll just, I'll test the water for a few months and see how people react to it. My main channel that uh, I wanna talk about, that uh, my legs have fallen asleep. <laughs> uh, my main channel that I wanna talk about, I don't have a title for it yet. My working title is wins. No, my working title is Positivity Will Prevail, but uh, I stole that off a sticker my parents gave me, so I don't know. I, I'm going to think about a title. Basically, this video, uh, this channel is going to just be uh, positivity and mental health awareness, mainly aimed at the people who watch my channel, young, impressionable uh, teenagers and, uh, and kids, really. Um, talking and addressing uh, the the outrageously underspoken problems in society to do with uh, anxiety, depression, mental health, uh, socialization, uh, detachment, uh, it, it, just so many things. Um, I know this sounds like a big 180 or like whatever, uh, throw in a different direction, but it's what I really believe in. Um, I I uh, I really want my time on YouTube and my time in this this uh, this social space to be positive, a positive impact on young people. And the more I the more people I talk to, the more I realize that there are serious epidemics uh, in terms of uh, addressing mental health in uh, oh god, not in one country, just worldwide. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's what I got planned is a lot of stuff I know it's a lot of stuff um, <laughs> a lot of stuff a lot of stuff uh, basically just um, just just really dig deep and support me right now guys um, I don't like I don't want to ask for likes I don't want to ask for follows that kind of stuff but like this is it like the next five months will determine my future and I want to use that future to build a safe community for Mega Constructs, to build a positive voice for the Halo community, to build a mental health awareness community, and just just be a good person and make a positive impact on this world. Because it's very, very easy to get consumed by uh, oof, pretty much everything negative going on. But uh, you really have to stop and say, hey, there are so many things to be thankful for in this world. So many. So that is my first Patreon, domain, YouTube video. And I bet it's absolutely nothing like you expected. I'm sorry if you clicked on this and expected something else, but I'm hoping that what you expected from this video is not as good as what I delivered. I'm hoping that this was well received by my community. I would really like... This kind of video, and like I said, I was kind of nervous about making this because this is my first step into this like new uh, area that I want to cover, basically. Um, I want the domain to always be this fun collecting, but I want these two new channels, uh, you know, to, to really, uh, uh, to, to, to get out there and speak to people directly and say, you know, stand up, go outside and like start to make changes to feel better about yourself. I'm not saying that you, whoever's watching this needs to do that, but I'm saying like, we all do, right? Like I need to, everybody needs to better themselves. Everybody needs to take steps to improve their mental health. I really do. Like, um, I, I will be more transparent about this in the future. I've had huge mental health struggles over the last six years. Living in China, in a community where like nobody speaks English, um, you know, uh, I, I, I lived through the Hong Kong protests, man. Like, um, I, I've, I, it's been a crazy six, six years. And uh, my, 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 uh, my problems are no more or less than yours. I just want to sort of try and open this communication uh, that uh, it's okay if things aren't going well, but uh, they'll, they'll get better. 
So yeah, I was a bit nervous about making this. I don't know if I'm rambling at this point. I don't feel like I am. I feel like I'm getting a lot out that I wanted to get out. Uh, taking that first step, for me, this is taking that first step, putting all that out into the world and saying, this is me, this is what I want to focus on. It's not all just Halo, uh, is a big deal. So I hope you support me and I hope the comments are filled with, you know, supportive messages about this change. Um, stay tuned for more updates on these new channels. If you, a big, me, big daddy mega chongus books, help maybe consider supporting me on Patreon, you know? Uh, just a few dollars a month will really uh, show that the support's there and also get me through, you know, like my Patreon currently, like full transparency, my Patreon buys my groceries every month, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I could be working a full-time job, but I really feel like my time needs to be used to make content for people because when I when I receive and I receive so many messages on all my social medias from people who say like when you upload to YouTube on the domain that's like the highlight of my day and I can't really can uh, you know uh, comprehend that fully but uh, but if that is true then um, any help I can do or any any help I can get like I'm a servant to 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 um, to my community truly cool. I don't even know if I've ever made, a, I mean, past when I was young and um, I didn't know how to edit very well, I don't know if I've ever made a video where I just did not edit it. I'm going to put some music in uh, and maybe tweak the audio if I can save any of the audio from uh, these blare, blasting winds. <laughs> the winds of change. You see the, the tides are changing. It's about to, it's about to kick off. <laughs> yeah, the next five months. Pretty, I'm pretty nervous, but I'm I've never been more exhilarated and motivated in my life for my communication with Mega, for uh, new uh, in, new opportunities with uh, travel, um, and with the support from my family and friends, and with the domain. I mean, uh, I'm very, uh, very much a, a firm believer that the, the, this is going to work. This is going to work. And there'll be more details as to like what I'm even talking about uh, coming soon. But basically just like, uh, you know, if you enjoy my content, you don't have to support me on Patreon, but certainly just have my back. If you see I've uploaded, click on it and like it and then disconnect. Like if you're busy, don't prioritize me in whatsoever, but like click on the video, like it, comment, done, move on with the day. Like just, uh, just help boost these videos and help support my future content and my Patreon if you can. And uh, yeah. These, page, these videos will now be exclusive on Patreon, but I'm gonna be making more long form content talking to, uh, to my domain community as well. Uh, you can particularly find that kind of long form content on my live streams, I guess. So shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. Thank you so much for just for everything. And the domain is signing off. Thank you, the wind is signing off. <laughs> See you next time, folks.